People are constantly asking me how I'm doing and honestly, I'm getting kind of fed up with it. So I edited a health bar above my head for everyday life. And the best part is I never have to change it because I always feel like shit. Health and stamina bars are on-screen indicators that show us the physical state of our character and indicate whether or not we should continue on our journey or desperately look for help. They give us easy insight into important knowledge and allow us to manage our resources for when they are most necessary. They come in all sorts of forms from lines to circles to hearts and have become a staple of video game UI. But some games shed the shackles of traditional bars and give us new ways of knowing the physical and emotional states of our characters. I think Link is depressed. So today, let's look at unique ways of indicating health and stamina. In Ape Out, surprisingly enough, you play the game as an ape. And during this game, you will get shot. And if that doesn't bring back traumatic memories, then get the hell out. Just like Harambe, the health bar in Ape Out is gone and there's nothing to bring it back. So the substitution is blood. The ape essentially has three health and you start off by dripping no blood, meaning that you're at full health. After taking hits, you will begin to trail more and more blood until you are hemorrhaging the stuff. Which is a pretty good indication that you should, um, I don't know, stop getting shot. This blood drip system works really well for Ape Out as it fits perfectly into the art style and the frantic caution to the wind gameplay. In Celeste, having a health bar isn't a necessity because you are a small, fragile human being and falling off of a mountain will just kill you. But Celeste does require a stamina bar as she does a lot of climbing and dashing, which both have their own indicators shown on her body. If Celeste dashes, her hair will turn from orange to blue, meaning that you have exhausted her dashing ability. But if one of those green diamonds is around, going through that will turn her hair back to orange, meaning that you can dash again. As for her climbing stamina, Celeste will begin to turn red as stamina is depleted, and landing on a steady platform is the only way to regenerate it. This system works incredibly well as it gives you all the necessary details without having an overcomplicated and unnecessary UI. It is molded perfectly to the game and adapts with Celeste. Journey packs your entire UI into the scarf extending from the player's back. It not only holds your flying stamina by having filled and empty glyphs, but also shows your progression by how long your scarf is. It can be refilled by interacting with the rug like objects and creatures throughout the world, and continued exploration can aid in its growing process. It helps meter the momentum of the game and can make it easy to see when the pace is ramping up or down. As it is depleted in the underground area and on the mountain, but quickly refilled in moments of bliss like the big slides and dramatic finale. Journey Scarf is the perfect example of avoiding video game UI and is a contributing factor in making Journey my favorite game ever. Health and stamina bars are in almost every video game, but these examples show creative ways to not use them. And I would love to see more games do this, as UI is more and more viewed as an obstruction to the beautiful and artistic worlds made by developers. These three indie games, which I love, perfectly display the many ways that it can be done to change the way we view our health. And also our stamina. <laughs>